Hey everyone, Zach here from Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 11 build 2525.2. This build includes a number of notable changes over the last several Windows Insider preview builds. It's been uh, a few months since we did one of these walkthroughs, I apologise for that. But I promise to be better at this and so going forward we'll be doing these as often as we can even if there's no new changes. I'm sure we can find something using Vive Tool to, to enable and play with. Um, so yes, let's uh, dive straight into this build, starting with, as you can probably see, the taskbar. Uh, lots of changes to the search button on the taskbar in this build. It's now becoming more customizable, and its behavior is changing depending on which setting you have enabled. So right now I have the new search bar enabled, and this functions just like the Windows 10 search box did. You can now actually type within this search interface here, and the text will be inputted into the button on the taskbar. So if I search for Windows Central, you'll see... The text is inserting into the button I've clicked on and the result is coming up at the top here. Now, as you can see, this interface isn't centered. I'm sure they'll fix that at some point. This is pre-release software, so that sort of stuff doesn't really matter. Um, but yes, that search button is now a search box and it actually functions as a, an input field for text, which is fantastic. But I mentioned it's customizable and that's because if we go into settings here, you'll see that there's now an option to change what this is. So it's currently set to a search box. You can set it to a search button, which is not a, an, a text field that you can input text into. Um, it just sort of brings back the how it was on Windows 11 or how it is on Windows 11 today. The search bar is along the top here and that now works as you would expect. No text is inputted into the button down here. It just takes up extra space for no reason. Uh, and then we have the search icon, which is the classic Windows 11 interface, which is sort of what shipped with Windows 11 last year. This is my preferred one, if any, if anything. I usually have it off, and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, but yeah, you can also revert it back to how it used to be, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad Microsoft is doing this. Uh, on Windows 11 currently, the only option is the search button, and I really, really dislike this UI for this button. It just makes no sense. Why have the extra space when it's not a text box? It's, there's so many problems with it. We won't dive into it now, but this is awful. So change this as soon as you can. Either search, change it to the search box where it makes more sense or change it to a search icon. Or in my personal preference, you can hide it. And I'll tell you why I do that. And that's because it takes the same amount of clicks to begin searching with the search box hidden via using the start menu. So even with the text field, it's exactly the same. You go down, you click, and you type. And what's really awesome about this build is that... Um, They've actually updated the animation when going between start and search. In the previous builds, it was a very clunky experience. It was very clearly just switching between the two buttons on the taskbar. But now, if I do a search, look at that. It's an integrated experience. It looks awesome. So I'm actually curious to see what this will pull up. Will it pull up um, web search? It does. Okay, so it's basically the same as the search in uh, UI itself, but now it's just more integrated into the start menu. And I love it. Look at that animation. It's okay. To be fair, it's not smooth. It's not entirely smooth yet, but it's so much better than what it was before. So I'm so excited about this and I'm just happy to see it. So we can search for say settings here or whatever. And that animation going between the search UI and the start page is quite frankly amazing. And again, the same amount of clicks. So I don't see the point in having a search icon on the taskbar anyway. I know it's there for discoverability and some people prefer having a search icon. I don't. I don't see the point. It takes up space. Just have start. Open start search. It's the exact same amount of clicks or steps rather to initiate a search with having the search icon on or off. It doesn't matter. So you might as well turn it off in my opinion. But yes, there you are. That is a look at the changes they're making to the search box on Windows 11. I'm very excited about this, especially the, the animation involved with the start menu here. I love it. It's great. Super excited to see that. All right, moving on. Actually, while we're in the start menu real quick, you may have seen it. Uh, there are now common websites being recommended in the recommended feed. We kind of knew it was coming. It was called recommended after all. It was never called recent at files. It was always called recommended, and that always implied that, yes, they were going to start feeding you stuff through this interface at some point, and that has started. Now, luckily, you can right-click and disable recommended websites if you would like, or you can remove individual ones if you decide that, actually, I like this feature, but I'm not ever going to visit Wells Fargo. So you can get rid of that if you'd like as well. Uh, the system tray, while we're still sort of talking about taskbar elements, has been updated. Now, again, this has been in testing for a while now, um, but the animation here for the arrow is, has been updated. So it's like 
It's pretty cool. Lots of nice mini uh, mini animations. I guess you call it mini animation. Just nice subtle animations, uh, sort of sprinkled around the OS now, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and this interface here, the highlight effect has been updated as well. And you can, I believe, now drag and drop. Yes, you can drag and drop these icons between um, the the flyouts, the system tray overflow menu, and um, at least you can normally. Can you go back? There we go. Okay, that was weird. <laughs> Pre-release software, everybody. All right, if we move over to widgets, widgets has also been updated. Again, not entirely new. You may have already had this. This is actually the first time I've tried it, but if you click on that, you can now full screen the widgets panel. And it looks like this. So if you use a tablet, this might be handy for you. Uh, and if you leave it full screen and you close it and come back to something else, it will always remain full screen. So you can actually set it to be this way permanently if you'd like. And there are also a number of settings being added to the widgets panel, including the ability to turn off open on hover. Fantastic stuff. Thank you, Microsoft. And there you are. That's a quick look at the widgets panel as well. So awesome to see lots of these changes coming into effect. Uh, the suggested actions uh, menu thing, uh, which is still only US and Canada as far as I'm aware, it's ridiculous, now has the option to search the web. So if I search for, say, Windows, or if I type text in here and then copy that text, you'll see a little drop down here, which will give me quick actions to search the web. And I click on that, so that will open up uh, the world's best browser, Microsoft Edge, and then we can search that text query like so, which is pretty nice. Now, if we open up the task manager, which can now be accessed via the right-click menu anywhere on the taskbar, as you can see there, task manager, quick access, like so. There is a search box within the search in the task manager, and this allows you to search for any running process or program and kill it with ease. So if I want to look for explore.exe, there it is. And then I can run a new task or restart that task or can I not end the task through here? Oh, you can. Okay, you can still end the task if you'd like. I'm not going to do that because that will <laughs> cause problems with my recording. Uh, and there you are. So that is a quick look at the new task manager updates as well. Now within the settings app, power and battery, there is a new energy recommendations thingamabob which gives you just recommendations for making your PC more energy efficient, which is great for people living in countries where the cost of living is increasing exponentially and the cost of power is ridiculous. Um, but also, if you have a laptop with terrible battery life, this may help you <laughs> increase battery life on your laptop. So for example, here, you can just one click apply these settings and uh, those will go into effect. So for example, set the power mode to for best energy efficiency. No, thank you, actually. This needs all the power it can get. Turn on dark mode. You know what? Why not? There we go. Uh, put my device to sleep after three minutes. A bit excessive. I might be stepping away for three minutes. That's fine. Turn off my screen after three minutes. You know, that's probably okay. We can apply that. Uh, and then there's all these other ones here as well. So that's how that works. Pretty nice. And there's also a one button apply all if you just want to be crazy and just get rid of all of the power options on your PC, which is great. Actually, I want to set that as best performance. Thank you very much. Uh, also, it's really dark now. <laughs> I hope that didn't come up on the recording because that would be bad. All right, the last thing I want to demo is something we've demoed before. I'm almost certain of it, but it's it's in the dev channel again now and it is working in a much better. And it's the, the tablet optimized taskbar. I'm using a two-in-one here. So if I uh, move this into tablet mode, you will see the taskbar change shape. It's now much bigger. The touch The, the touch targets are larger for my finger, which makes it easier to use. I can go in and start doing what I'd normally do. And when within an app, the taskbar will minimize. So it looks very similar to what it would look like on Windows 10X on a Surface Neo. Those never shipped. Of course, they are reusing that work here on Windows 11. And it works quite nicely. In the bottom right corner here, you can see we have our system icons still, which we can still access the quick settings panel with ease just by simply swiping up from the bottom corner. There it is. Uh, and we can do the same thing with the start menu. So I can swipe up from the bottom in the middle of the screen to access the start menu, swipe over to access my app list and so on and so forth. So that works as so, and it's pretty nice. Um, and yeah, it's great for tablets, especially great for tablets with small screens for using a Surface Go, for example, with its 10.5 inch display. This is gonna be awesome because it gets rid of the taskbar. So you have more screen real estate for your app that's running in the foreground. And that is uh, pretty sweet. Okay, and that's about it for this build. Thank you so much for watching and we shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.